Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike, and in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to build something that we find out on the internet. Today, I thought it'd be kind of fun to build something from Reddit. So I'm over here on the Reddit Explore page, and one of the things that they have are these nice little list items, which have links to all the subreddits. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of these. You can see these list items have about three different parts to them, three different sections. And over here on the left, we have the image, which is kind of like circular. And then we have the text, which may or may not be truncated with these ellipsis. And then we have this SVG star that has a hover effect. So this is a good thing for us to build because it'll give you an idea of how to lay all of this out and then how to do some of this special stuff in CSS. So why don't we go ahead and get started? I'm over here on my code pen editor and I'm just gonna create a div, which is called wrapper. And this is gonna kind of contain all of those different elements inside of it. So the first thing that we can do is try to add in this image. Now, anytime you have an image that's out on the web, you can actually just right click on it generally and copy the image address. If you have your own custom image, you can also add it in like from a relative path. And I have tutorials on how to do that in my HTML series. But for now, we're just gonna say image and then we're gonna use the URL of the image that we found. Another thing that you can do with images on the web is you can inspect. So generally this is gonna work in most browsers, although I'm in Google Chrome. And then you can see like the dimensions of the image. You can see how big it is. And then obviously you can get the source. You can also see like the aspect ratio, which can be kind of important if you wanna be resizing these. So there's a lot of information that you can get just from the browser. In our case though, we can just paste in this link uh, to the image and it's kind of showing up. So why don't we give this image a class and we'll call it subreddit image. And then down here we can say subreddit image and we can give this some styling. Now, the main thing that we need to do is turn it into a circle. So the good news is anytime we have something that's a square, like this image is a square, uh, we can turn it into a circle pretty easily just by saying, border radius and we're going to give this a hundred percent so this is going to actually now turn it into a circle so now it'll look exactly uh, the way that it looks over here if you don't like if your image isn't a perfect square then you can modify the width and the height so we might want to modify the width and the height of this the problem is though if the image isn't like naturally supposed to be a square it's going to change the aspect ratio like it's going to warp the image so it might be like more thin or it might be like stretched out too much so you need to be kind of careful with that but in this case all these subreddit images are squares so we can just leave it like this all right so then the next thing is going to be the text and that's just going to be the name of the subreddit so let's create another div and i'm going to give this a class of subreddit name and then in here we're just going to put the name so i think this one's like r announcements. Now, the way that Reddit is doing this is they're getting this text, they're getting this information like from their server for all the different subreddits, and then they're kind of listing it out. In our case, I'm just going to hard code the text just because we're learning more about the HTML and the CSS. And then the final part is this star that we have over here. So I'm going to add in the star and then we'll look at how we can like align everything. These stars or anything that's kind of not like a normal shape on the web is generally an SVG, a scalable vector graphic, or it's like an image. And you can usually get these from icon packs. So you could just type in like HTML, CSS icons and like font awesome is a really good one. Um, you know, you could see here, I could search for, they might even be using this on Reddit. I could search for like a star and you know we would have like this is probably something like that now with this you might need to sign in and like get an account to be able to use these icons it really depends in our case just for the sake of this tutorial you can inspect it and then we can look at the actual svg itself so this will give you an idea of how svgs are kind of structured so generally you have the svg tag and then you have a path inside and this path determines what the shape looks like so obviously these numbers are kind of just like gobbledygook. There's no way for us to make sense of it, but the browser can make sense of it. So what we can do is click edit as HTML and then we can just copy this. So pretty much any icon on the web, you can do that. You could just copy the SVG, the SVG directly. Once again, I just hit inspect 
and then on the SVG, edit as HTML, and then I copied that. So we could try to paste that down here. I'm gonna create a div and we're gonna call this, we'll give this a class of star. Actually, why don't we call it star container? And then we'll put the SVG code. Now this is getting a little bit messy because we have this image and then we have this SVG. I'm gonna see if I can format this a little bit different. But essentially we have these three sections, right? We have the image that's on the left, we have the subreddit name in the middle, and then we have this star. So you can see here, the star is showing up. Now, uh, the other thing that we can do is start to style the star because it has a background. You can see whenever I hover over, it has a background like that. I'm just gonna give this a background to start. Why don't we say this is red? and oh it's called star container my bad so we'll just give this a, a background to start now what we're going to do is we're going to lay everything out so right now everything is stacked on top of each other vertically right what we can do is add a add some styling for the wrapper so the wrapper was this high level div, right? The wrapper is what's containing everything else that we have. And the way that the items inside of the wrapper are displayed, like whether they're stacked on top of each other or next to each other, it's going to determine the dis it's going to be determined by the display type of the wrapper. So I could just put display and here we can put flex. And by default, what flex is going to do is it's going to align everything so they're next to each other. So all of these items are gonna be aligned next to each other. And then you can see here, like the text and the star are kind of up at the top. So what we can do is say align items and that's gonna put everything in the center if we say center. So now not only are they lined up horizontally but vertically they're also lined up so that they're all kind of next to each other in a line. So we might wanna change the width and the height of the subreddit image. Now let's just change the width and I'm gonna change this to two EMs. So we're gonna be using relative units here. And you can see as long as we change uh, one of the, either the width or the height, they're both going to adjust. So if I change the width of the subreddit image, it's also gonna change the height, right? And that's just how the browser is gonna handle these, uh, these things. So now it looks a little bit better. And then why don't we say for the, uh, what do we have the subreddit name? I'm gonna add some styling for that So this was our text. Why don't we give this a margin and the margin is going to be uh, So we probably want margin on the sides of it. So we could say margin left which would be 0.1 EMS and then margin right Which is gonna be 0.1 EM. So we'll just do a little bit of margin on the left and the right and actually maybe we could do like 0.25. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So with these relative units, for those of you who aren't familiar, I'll give you a quick rundown. They have to do with the font size. So if we were to change the font size on this wrapper, for example, if I change this, normally it's like 16 pixels, right? If I was to change this then to let's say 30 pixels, you'll see that the size of the image, which is sized using relative units and the size of the uh, padding or the margin also changed in accordance to that. And that's because like, if we say two EMs here, that's two times the font size. So in this case, that would be like 60 pixels. Okay, yeah, so that's like looking about the same. So anytime you see these EMs or you can see REMs, it's related to how big the font is. And that's because for people who have like disabilities who need to, uh, or who wanna make the text bigger, they would change the font size and then you'd want everything else to get bigger as well in accordance to that. So that's just like a good practice to use these relative units. Um, the other way you could do this would just be with pixels, but then like I said, it, it wouldn't respond to the font size. Okay, so we have our little container here. Now, for the star container, instead of having it have that background only when, or sorry, all the time, we would want it to only have it when we have it hovering. So I could say uh, star container colon hover, and now it's gonna be only when I'm hovering over it. 
And once again, we want this to be a circle. So we could say border radius 100%. And so now we should have that background with the red, but it, you can see here, it's still kind of like a little bit warped. So we need to change this so that the width and the height are the same. So we change this to like 2 EM. I think this is about the same as the image. Uh, height would be 2 EM. And then inside of the star container, we now need to move this star so that it's in the middle. So we could say display flex. And then we can, to center it inside of this little red circle, we could say justify content center and align items center. All right, so now it's kind of nestled right inside of the center of that red square. So now we can change this to hover. And I think we can modify the, the color as well. So if I inspect this, we should be able to see what the color is. It's probably down here somewhere. Yeah, button color, background, hover. This is the cool thing about the web is we can just inspect this and then I can grab the color exactly. So then let's change this from red to be this nice color. And actually you can see here when I'm clicking on this, it's only in the center um, when we're hovering. So let's change this so that the star container has two styles, one for all the time and then one for hovering. So when we're hovering, that's when we wanna have this background. Otherwise everything else can stay the same. And so now you can see here when we hover over it and I spelled this wrong. Yeah. And actually we'll change the color to be white. Cool. So now when we hover over it, we can kind of see that and we might want to change the color of the wrapper or sorry, we, we might want to give the wrapper a background of black because I think that's what it is on the Reddit site. And then we can change the color to white. Cool. Now the last thing we can do here is change the wrapper itself. So the wrapper, instead of being like the full width of the page, we might want to just change it. So maybe we could change it to like 10 EMs. I'm not sure exactly how Reddit is doing this. Maybe we could put it at like 12. And then if we wanted to change everything so it kind of fits in, we could say justify content space between. And now these items are going to kind of align themselves uh, just like that. So let's go ahead and look, we can hover over our little button we might actually even want to change uh, the cursor to a pointer. And then, yeah, we might also want to add some padding as well. Padding would be, I don't know, 0.25 EM, something like that. Cool. So now we have something that looks very, very similar to what we have over here. Now the last thing that we can do is take a look at how we can do this truncating text. So you can see here when the text is longer than like a certain length, uh, we kind of truncate it. So that would be down here in the subreddit name, we could give this a fixed width. So here we might say the fixed width is like five EMs or something. I'm not sure exactly what we would want. And why don't we give this a background of red just so I can see it. Yeah, okay, so now we have this uh, announcements thing. You can see that it's overflowing over here. Uh, the easiest way to do this to have it truncate would just be to say, uh, and actually I don't think we need white space. We could say text overflow 
ellipsis, and then we could say overflow hidden. And now it's kind of uh, truncating. Now we might want to change the width, so maybe this is like 7 EM, something like that. I'm not sure exactly how Reddit's doing it. It could be like six. And then we would change the width of this up here. Could be like 10 and this should look exactly like what we had. But playing around with the different widths, it really depends on like, you know, it, over here on this website, it would just depend on like how big this container is. But that's the way that we could do that. And then why don't we change this background out from red. Okay, so that's basically how you would build a component like this. Last thing we'll do is add a border radius. Uh, why don't we do like 0.5 EM, or why don't we do 1 EM? Cool, and now we have our little list item. So that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one.